Sid Mead is an exception. He's a well-known designer of everything from amusement parks to luxury yachts. But he's probably best known for his vision of L.A. in the year 2017. In the last decade, Sid Mead has become a household name in the world of science fiction movies. But the one that really sets him apart is Blade Runner, made in 1982. What we were dealing with in Blade Runner was, was the notion that the society had to make do. You couldn't tear everything down and start over. And if you had an older building, the property value dictated using that same space. And rather than make a, a statement as a nice architectural solution, it was pure utility. Mead was hired by British director Ridley Scott to simply design the cars for this cult classic. But he ended up inventing the dark, bleak, futuristic city of L.A. It was a, a very brutal, um, both graphic and uh, design and illustrative technique. We called the general principle uh, retro deco mm -hmm. to sort of manufacture our own right. style on the roll or uh, playing with the uh, sort of funny French uh, trash chic. It was a fairly, you know, difficult process of making the film. And every inch of the way, one had to explain what, was, what, what, what one was doing. And uh, sometimes to people looking rather confused. I think the, the world we, pre we, we presented was a little bit, uh, maybe scarily, in a, a scarily accurate as a prediction. Mead has few equals. He's a guru of making fantasy real. Mead's designs have taken him from magazine illustrations to home utensils to toys for the rich and the very, very rich. There's a lot of people taking care of today. They're product designers, transportation designers, and I admire them very much. But I think I have more fun, <laughs> certainly, inventing things that may happen. And when I do go into the actual uh, design for real world uh, loop, working with engineers and material specialists and the client's uh, design staff, uh, that works just as well. Mead is blessed with rare talent and imagination for depicting a vision far different from our usual idea of the future. Some call it ultra-future. Since I was four or five, I mean, all little boys, I guess, draw rocket ships, and, and that's in trucks and cars. Sure. I did that, too. When I found out that I could draw and I could make an image that satisfied me, then I started to put people in, and I started to construct complete scenarios, it was more satisfying. At 59, Meade is at the height of his career and is longing to create a monument, but he'll have to make a compromise with the real world. I still have an optimistic view because I think our future is what we're going to arrive at all together, whatever we all do collectively, meaning the whole planet. I like to rehearse for an optimistic future because why not rehearse for the best performance possible? Reality might produce setbacks here and there, but if you don't plan for the optimum uh, outcome, you're almost guaranteeing failure, I think. <laughs>